Yo, what's up everyone? This is Kaiser War here. So we have a Guilty Gear anime on the horizon known as Guilty Gear Strive Dual Rulers. This is going to seemingly take place after the events of Guilty Gear Strive because look at Soul. Soul lacks his uh, headband, his trademark headband that held back his powers as a gear and his hair is now short. So it's, it's human soul. <laughs> So this is Human Soul. It's just actually kind of cool to see that they're actually going to use an anime to go after Guilty Gear uh, uh, Strive, which people kind of assume that if we ever got Guilty Gear anime, we would get one about the whole series. But it's actually kind of cool to see this one that's based on Strive. And it would have to be based on Strive. Strive is the Arc System Wars' most popular thing right now, so it has to be, right? So it's super cool to actually see that we're getting this. And it's actually super cool to see that the studio behind the anime will be Suns again. Or if I'm pronouncing that San Zegan, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But they're the studio behind that uh, that uh, Guilty Gear Strive Find Your One Way uh, music video they did a while back, like a year ago. And I think that was super cool that we're actually seeing, <laughs> actually seeing the studio do that. Because I swear, got back in my head, I thought that if they ever did, um, if they ever did a, uh, if they ever did a Guilty Gear anime, they would have to get the studio. They 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 actually do mix the mix the Guilty Gear anime like like aesthetic. Like the 3D is stacked well with anime form, and I think that was the perfect choice for them. Glad to see it. So there's not really much I can really say because really say because we don't have much information on this yet. I probably could have made this video after we got more information, but I really wanted to talk about it now because I think it's super interesting. So we can already tell that we have three new well, not three new characters, my bad, three characters um, on you know the center focus here. We have Soul, seemingly human Soul. Uh, we have Sin, which I find interesting that they're using Sin. You know, because I just don't know why you use Sin but not Kai. But I guess it would make sense because Soul and Sin were the ones like you know take mostly together from like I think uh, Overture until the XR games, and you know I guess that would make sense, right? While they, these two are like together, so I guess that would make sense. It's kind of like putting these two together. And then we have this mysterious third character in the background that we have no idea on, and we won't know until we get more information. Now I'm calling it right now. This is another Valentine. This is this is this has to be another Valentine, and they did say they did um, on their Twitter account they did mention that the character was a girl, so she has to be another Valentine. She already has the ears, which are actually her goggles, which I think that's super cool, and she has the same ears that all the Valentines, well at least Elle felt and uh, Ramathal have, and I think that's super cool. Like she would have to be a Valentine. There's, there's just like no freaking way that she isn't, and she isn't. Whatever, right? But you can't let me not tell this is not Valentine and that she's like, A, going to be either the main villain or a very important character because she's in the background. <laughs> now, when I see all three of these on here, I do get reminded of Guilty Gear XR because arguably the main three characters, O, Sin, and a Valentine, right? So this all reminds me of Souls, Sin, and Ramoth all over again because they were like the three focus characters of XR sign and XR Revelator and so and so on and so forth. And I think that's super cool. Like it's kind of like invoking that again. And I think I like I really like that. Now we have no idea who this new mysterious character is until we get more information. And we don't know what the M is going to be about. We do have um, you know a little stuff about the staff. We get like the sensitive producer, the serious composition, the director. But other than that, we don't really know anything else. Um, my one of my main hopes, Daisuke hope. Uh, composing the music, like not composing the, the entire soundtrack, I know that's not gonna happen, but composing like some cool songs for like maybe the opening and the ending theme or maybe some cool music because hey, we get more Daisuke music. You cannot tell me you guys are gonna make a Guilty Gear anime and the main dude behind the Guilty, Guilty, <laughs> the Guilty Gear series is not gonna be involved with the anime in some fashion. I, I just don't see that happening, but I, I, I would, but it, it, it's like right there. We would get some cool anime original songs. I would definitely buy that soundtrack if we actually got some cool anime Daisuke original songs. I mean, it's it's just an excuse to get more Daisuke music, and I think that's cool. But I think the idea of like Guilty Gear Strive getting anime is super awesome. I mean, it's been forever. People have been wanting a Guilty Gear anime forever now, and I think now's I guess the best time because Guilty Gear uh, Strive is more popular than ever. Recently, like not even this, not even that long ago, after I posted this video, uh, uploaded this video. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive has hit 3 million players worldwide, which is unheard of for like any Arc System Wars game because that's a lot for one game. Like, like it held, it, like all Blaze Wolves games combined only hit a million, right? And that's all of those Blaze Wolves games combined. Guilty Gear Strive did that times three and for one game. And I think that's actually really, really insane. But yeah, it's because it goes to show that how popular Guilty Gear is that he's even getting an anime. In this day and age. And I also find funny on Twitter that a bunch of people kept putting up Blaze Blue Ultimate Memory clips 
because Blaze Blue Ultimate was a travesty, but at the same time, it was the only Blaze Blue anime we had at the time, and it's still the only one. And that's that's uh, sad. That's, that's, that's sad, sad. Blaze Blue's anime legacy is getting left behind like that. But anyway, yeah, Guilty Gear uh, Stride Dual Rulers. The name is hilarious to me. Dual Rulers. I assume that they're talking about Soul and Sin, but the Dual Rulers could obviously be these, this Valentine char looking character, maybe another Valentine character, or maybe another character, I don't know. I'm also calling that this character is perhaps Happy Chaos, and not Happy Chaos, the one we play in Stride, but in Guilty Gear XR Revelator, there was a Valentine unit that was created called Happy Chaos before the, the Happy Chaos that we have in Guilty Gear Strive took that name for his own and became the Happy Chaos that we know. So this is, this, this my theory is that this is essentially Happy Chaos, but the Valentine one, not the one we know of with the guns and shit. This is Happy Chaos Valentine. And I hope I'm right, please. I don't wanna be, I don't want this anime to come out and I'm completely wrong in this video ages like milk, please. Let one of my theories for Guilty Gear be right. Cause I swear to God, this series loves to subvert my expectations. Every time I come up with a theory, they always subvert it and it bums the hell out of me. So yeah, without further ado, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. I hope you guys enjoy Guilty Gear Stride Dual Rules. I'm definitely gonna be on that day one. And if any new information comes out and I can, you know, gush about and, you know, talk about, I definitely will. I would love to be able to keep people updated on this stuff because I definitely want to talk about it more. So, without further ado, see y'all next time. Peace out, everyone. Hope you have a great day. I am out and I am tired. <laughs>